ready for a new day of work? Yes, yes, we are ready. So let's start. Seven truths about me. Number one, I am a child of God. Number two, I am love. Number three, I am accepted. Number four, I am forgiven. Number five, I am smart. Number six, I am strong. Number seven, I am blessed. Okay, now that we have talked about these things, are you ready to start? Yes, yes, we are ready. So let's go. Okay, kids, so we have the word of the day. Remember, you have to make one sentence using the word empathy. Jesus has empathy to the world, okay? And that will be an example. You have to do it by yourselves. And you have to write it on your red notebook. And that will be all for this. Okay, kids, welcome to a new day of school. Are you ready to start? Yes, yes, we are ready. Okay, so you have to go to the student book page 11. Okay, kids, so go to your student book page 11, exercise number four. Okay, it says, look the pictures and complete the questions and answers. Okay, so number one, we talk about he's a man, okay? So we have it, does the man have glasses? No, he doesn't. Number two, we're talking about she, so it's does the girl, in this case, we have to put does, does the girl have a brain? No, she doesn't. No. Okay, number three. We have to put the auxiliary does, the boy, and we have a blank space, okay? You have to see if it's yes or no. In this case, it's yes. Okay, so what can we write that the boy has? The boy have wavy hair, yes. Yes, he does. In this case, the woman is exactly the same. We have the blank space so we can put what she has or he or she doesn't have, okay? In this case, does the woman have straight hair? Yes, she does, okay? And we can see some examples of answers that we have in here. Okay, so we have this example, okay? This could be, this is correct also. Why? Because she has them too, okay? So it doesn't matter in this case. So let's go to the next activity. Okay, so number five, number five. We're, we have in here something very important that I want to show you. These this squares or this, um, this chart has the grammar, okay? How we're making the questions and the answers, okay? They put the auxiliary, the person, the verb, and the complement. The answer is yes, no, the person does or doesn't. We have talked about that, okay? Number five unscramble the question okay do you have played the, the game scramble that you have all the letters in this order and you have to put it in order so you can form um so you can form a word well it's something like this in this exercise it says unscramble the question so scramble is there in this order unscramble is put it in order okay look at the pictures in activity four and write the answers okay so I'm gonna give you a few seconds so you can answer and then we're gonna do it together okay five minutes later I les pongo cinco horas después o así de Bob Esponja entonces me da mucha risa pero en inglés no se las pongo así five seconds later or ten seconds or five hours later okay so first is the auxiliar right does and then the person, the boy is a person, 
have the verb, yes, we have in here, have, and then the complement, straight hair, and the most important thing, the question mark. Okay, so does the boy have straight hair? No, he doesn't. Why? Because we say that he has wavy hair. I, sorry, in here is does not, okay, or doesn't. Let's check if we're correct. Yes, they are correct, okay? So let's go with the next one, okay? We start with the auxiliar, that is? Does, okay, does, and then we have the, el o la, the girl in this case, have a ponytail and the question mark. It's, the answer it will be, no, she doesn't, point. Let's check if we're correct. Yes. Oh, well, in this case, it's because I put a blank and a more space, but they are correct, okay? Number four, we start with the auxiliar, does the man have a beard? The question mark, and the answer will be the beard? Yes, he does. Okay, let's check if we're correct. Oh, I forgot the point. Yes, it's correct, okay? We're doing it great, guys. Now, we're gonna go to the next activity, page 12. We're gonna start to see, guys, the personality description, okay? Do you remember that we talk about clever, lazy, helpful, funny, grumpy? Well, we're gonna see it right here, okay? So, it says, number one, circle the words with a friend. Listen and check. Track 14. This is my friend, and his name is Tony. He's clever, and he's helpful, but he's very, very grumpy. He's clever, and he's helpful, but he's very, very grumpy. My friend Tony, my friend Daisy, very grumpy, very lazy, clever, grumpy, friendly, lazy, yeah that's Tony and that's Daisy. This is my friend, this is my friend, and her name is Daisy. She's friendly and she's funny, but she's very, very lazy. She's friendly and she's funny. But she's very, very lazy So do you like the song? Because I did, it's pretty, pretty awesome the song Okay, so we have in here He is Toby, he is clever The song says he is clever He is helpful But he's very, very grumpy Okay, so number two We have lazy or helpful in the picture, what does he show? He's lazy or he's helpful? He is helpful, right. Number three, he's funny or he's grumpy? What does he show in the picture? He is grumpy, so we put it grumpy. Okay, now Daisy. Daisy is friendly or grumpy? What does he show the picture? She is Friendly, okay. Number five, she is helpful or funny. She is funny, okay. And the last one, number six, she is lazy mm, or she's clever. She is lazy because she's watching TV, okay. Now let's check if we're correct. Yes, we're correct. We're doing it, guys. Give me five, okay. So let's go to the next activity and it says, well, we have this song in here, the lyric, okay? So you can rewind the video and watch and sing along, okay? Number three, it says, read the lyrics. You have to read the lyrics and mark with a check or a X the sentence 
Number one, it says, Daisy is funny, but she's very lazy. Number two, Daisy is lazy, but she's clever. Mm -mm, she's not. She is lazy and she's funny or friendly, but she's not clever, okay? Number three, Tony. Tony is grumpy, but he's very funny. It is correct? No. No, because he is grumpy, he is helpful, and he is clever, okay? Number four, Tony is helpful, but he's very grumpy? Yes, it is, okay? So, we are correct, guys. Okay, so that will be all for this activity on the student book.